Dear Medicos, we are having the honor to have Dr. Prem with us, the AIMS Ahmedabad student. So, Vita, how you are feeling? Uh, I couldn't believe it when I saw it for the first time. So, I had to check it twice or thrice. And I'm still getting used to the fact that I got such a good rank. I was expecting a rank in the top 30 or top 50, uh, depending on how my cases went. But getting a single digit rank is just amazing. So, Vita, like you are saying, you were expecting rank in top 100. So, as if educator, as a faculty, I feel... You must have done some smart study, but as an intern, you are getting ranked too. And before the exam, you were confident that I will get ranked in top 100. It means somewhere the basic planning was there in your mind. And I want K, we should use this platform to uh, discuss all these strategies with all the medicals. So can we start from the first year, but like how you, what was your strategy in the first year? Like how you uh, deal with anatomy, physio, vacuum, but? So I feel uh, the first year is and the importance of the first year cannot be overstated because uh, once your uh, first year concepts are clear, only then you're going to be able to grasp final and clinical year subjects very well. So in the first year, I paid attention to standard textbooks only. I was not uh, very ahead in solving MCQs, even though that trend is changing with increasing competition. I would even suggest starting solving MCQs in the first year itself. So in, the, in my case, my primary strategy in the first year was to read standard books, uh, Guideline for Physiology and BD Chaurasia and Netters for Anatomy as far as possible, so that I had a really strong base to build upon. That's great, Vita. And I want every medical listening to you, at least they should follow the standard gold standard books, which even I say in my lectures, okay, we should not miss the gold standard books, Vita. What was your, what was the role of these gold standard book learning in this rank to it? Uh, yes, sir. so I think gold standard books uh, give you an overview from uh, start to finish. So even if you don't know anything about the subject, they will help you grasp your concepts from the core basics. Like if you have already have a good understanding by reading standard books, you will be able to revise notes from other sources much faster. And that will be very crucial when you're revising your subjects in a short time frame, such as during your internship. That's great. And what I'm getting from your words, in the first year, your strategy was to make the basic and you focus on the academics like the day yes. enter in the second year beta so what was your strategy like most of the students i feel in the second year they enjoy they feel that second year is a year for enjoyment what was your strategy in second year beta? Uh, so I think everyone says the final year is very important in, in, in preparation for NEET PG, but I think the second year is very underrated because that's a time when you're likely to forget your first year and you're suddenly faced with such a huge volume of information from second, third and fourth. So that is the point where many people are confused what I should do in the second year. So at the beginning of my second year, I started buying MCQ books for the first year subject so that I didn't miss out on them. And as in every medical college, second MBBS is considered a honeymoon period. Honeymoon period. So you can have yeah, you can have some time off and chill with your friends and stuff. But at the same time, you should also start reading uh, standard books for the second year, especially Robbins for pathology. Uh, you can start slow, but it's important to keep moving. It is not necessary that you finish the whole thing at a one stretch. And uh, at the same time, you should also revise your first year subjects as and when you get the time. Uh, in my case, I'm a very avid quizzer. Uh, I have also attempted the Grey Matter quiz in dance. So that uh, whenever I gave quizzes, that also served as a sort of revision for my first and second year subjects. That's great. And what I'm feeling after getting ranked two, you are getting that feel of honeymoon phase now. Yeah, which you <laughs> sacrifice in the second year. Now you're enjoying it. Yeah, this is our being an intern, being an intern yeah, as a faculty, I say being an intern, getting ranked two, this will be a lifetime achievement. But I, Dr. Prem, even after 10 years, 20 years, you will remember, okay, yeah, I got ranked two. That will give you next level confidence. But I, great, awesome. And we congrats with all uh, your family Thank members. You, because, because I feel that this is success of your parents, your grandparents, because of whom you are on this platform. So, but coming to the second year, my basic question, which most of the students were asking, okay, but did you write your own notes or you take some photocopies, beta? Did you make your notes? Uh, sir, notes? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, contrary to what people might expect, I am not a very hardworking person. So, Man, I, 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 say, I, I disagree with this, beta. Uh, getting rank two is not, matlab, you can't say you are not a hardworking. Yes, we can use a word, ke, you did some smart work. And everybody, everybody want to know that smart work, which you did better. Uh, yes, sir. So when I was going through my second year subjects, I didn't make notes at the time, to, uh, to be uh, fair. So when I was revising my notes uh, in my f final year or during my internship of second year subjects, I realized that I didn't have to revise the whole notes because of, suppose there is a 
entire syllabus in the second year you are not going to forget the entire thing so it doesn't make sense to uh, spend your entire time in revising the whole thing so there would be some things in pharmacology and in each subject that i would keep forgetting and make silly mistakes in so i came to know that uh, by giving mock tests and grant tests so i would point out things which i was likely to forget and i would make a separate note of that so i had a separate uh, word document where i would make notes of things i kept forgetting and things which i felt were important so i would revise only that so that i could save time and i also could brush up on my weak subjects and weak concepts like bida what i am getting from your words can you start concising the notes in our each and every faculty of dams they highlight this point that we should concise our notes what was the importance of key words like we always when we say the lectures that we should focus on the key word and the last need was a atypical paper which was a little bit different from the other need so what do you feel okay, what is the importance of keyword concise notes in your success journey so uh, when you are making your notes first of all uh, there will be a lot of thoughts going through your mind so for example if you uh, read a topic you it's not necessary to include the entire topic in your notes because uh, when you go if you make notes today and you revise your notes one month later there are some some thoughts from the original notes are going to come to your mind and that will be sort of a rapid revision for you even without having to revise the notes because our mind has an enormous capacity and it is not confined to a notebook or a word document so if you make notes as concisely as possible using keywords which you feel that you will remember best that will help you save time and also serves as a rapid revision in the future and coming in the final year beta like in each and every lecture of dams on all the uh, sessions we highlight this point that we should learn in an integrated way so what was the role of integrated learning like which you learn in adams lecture we should concise our first and second year to learn medicine surgery so how you handle final year subjects so in final year uh, i started studying final year subjects in the third year itself because i knew that it was going to be a much uh, bigger thing to cover in just one year so one i started reading uh, sorry to interrupt you what percentage of final year you complete in the third year what percentage uh, of final you complete say i guess 
so that you can pick up on even certain nuances in wordings that are in the question and another common mistake i used to make was uh, if the first option so the option a seems like a right answer i would used to i used to jump on it and click on it but then i found out that neat pg wants you to choose the best answer it just it just doesn't want you to choose the right answer so even though you might be 100% sure that option a is the right one it is very important that you go through all options and try to think why they are not the right answer you should uh, do a quick rerun in your brain as to why option b is not the right answer or option c is not the right answer so that helps you reconfirm your initial assertion and also helps you avoid silly mistakes such as missing out on really silly mistakes yeah what i'm getting the just what we use the word art of exclusion ke okay, you should exclude the choices why the b and c and d are not the right option and this art of exclusion or should be there if you want to go rank in your central institute or your neat examination so all medicals we are proud to have dr prem with us and he is giving very honest very honest trip to of feedback ke how he prepared in the first year to the internship and in the internship beta like you are saying ke you attempted as many as mcq as possible in neat how many mcq you attempted so i left one i attempted 199 that's great i love aggressive students and in 199 that's great and how many correct beta 184 184 yeah rank 1 was 185 and you were 184 that's great but now coming on the last spell like where you attended our dvt what was the role of dvt in your success journey of rank 2 beta sir uh, when during the last couple of months when i felt i was already thorough with my preparation that is when i uh, opted gave the CB, second cbt of dance so in that uh, my performance was not really good and i missed out on a really simple questions which a lot of my friends said that it was quite Uh, simple so i didn't want to make that mistake in my actual examination so i uh, i heard a lot about dvt from my friends and seniors so i gave it a try and uh, if you have it is a very good resource for rapid learning i went through the entire dvt in about uh, 10 days because if you have already strong concepts it is a sort of a rapid revision and also gives you confidence at the same time and if you have forgotten a key concepts here and there you can also brush up on that so it is uh, presented in a very concise way and uh, i think the dvt was a major boost to my confidence in the last month i can use the word game changer in the last spell the game changer was ke how we can revise in a very fast move yes. how was the experience of cbt beta like you appeared for our cbt how was the experience of cbt so i think the damn cbts are uh, really challenging because uh, some of the damn cbts of neat page pattern are also more challenging than ini of the actual exam the feeling of actually giving the exam in the examination center is something that i always wanted to try so damn cbt gave me that opportunity and like i said uh, my performance in the second damn cbt was not very good and i'm actually thankful that that happened because uh, that hap- uh, helped me to avoid complacency and uh, increase, increase my prep so that i i did not uh, make such mistakes in the final examination and i also think that it's uh, the explanations which are given yes so i always wanted to try an offline examination so that uh, i could get away from my comfort zone of my hostel room or my home so that uh, cbt really gave me that uh, option and uh, i also think that the questions in cbt are really challenging and they are just uh, not repeats uh, from direct cubanks and they are the test of memory so i think that helped really helped me buck up my preparation in the final few months especially because after the first, second cbt my performance was not really good uh, below my expectation so that really helped me to increase my prep level that's good and how where you rate the mcqs level better like mcqs of cbt against your neat exam mcqs so they are definitely tougher uh, the actual uh, questions in the cbt are tougher but i think that uh, helps you avoid complacency so even if you if you get a low score in the cbt uh, it will help you to uh, increase your preparation and make sure you don't miss out on a simple question in the actual examination that's great and we on and this platform beta we again congrats you and we are confident even in the upcoming years you will come with the flying colors and very best wishes we yes, convey our best wishes to your parents and any special message for your family beta any message for your parents uh so not my parents but actually my grandfather passed away one week before the examination Sorry. so uh, he always uh, wanted to be a, wanted me to be a doctor and he always pushed me to my limits so i would like to dedicate this achievement to him definitely but this and, this thing uh, like, like, uh, like, like to is uh, that should be dedicated to your grandfather beta sorry to hear yes, this sir. and beta on the last any special message to your juniors who are listening to you 
uh so uh i tell this to everyone i come across because uh, there is actually true and this is this should be very inspiring hopefully because two years ago when i was planning to take a seat in md medicine in a good college in the country my basic aim my my aim back then was to get at least a good medical college in kerala so when i saw the cut off for that year two years ago it was uh, an all india rank of 69 so i remember saying to myself that that is beyond me so that is i just want to tell all my juniors that everyone start the no one starts out as a topper so the that's where i started out and i decided that i had to prepare if i wanted to achieve my dream and i am here now today so i hope this can serve as encouragement to my juniors thanks beta thanks for such kind words and we wish you very best of luck thank you come for coming on this platform and sharing your success journey beta thank you thank you sir